all right all right everyone happy wednesday happy hump day guys we're back on the banks we're busting the banks guys the weather's great um feel good it's overcast so it's not sunny i'm gonna walk these banks this is the day i got a lot of time so i'm gonna walk all up and down these banks i'm gonna be fishing and casting out seeing if we can get any kind of fish to catch so great day i'll be casting up and down this concrete slab here up close and even out five ten feet away and just see what hits so let's get it started guys let's get this let's get everything align what i'm gonna fish with and we'll talk from there so first choice of lure is gonna be the the hegramite i hope i'm saying that right hegramite so one eight jig uh i ain't got no i ain't got my braid in there, so i got my thin line six pound line high vis mr crappie shakespeare excursion medium action seven footer dk 1000 real off of amazon real cheap we're gonna get this party started so first what i'm gonna do you guys is i'm gonna cast along this shoreline here and i go out and out and out but i'm gonna start up against the concrete with the bass it goes out and it drops but a lot of times them bass is just hovering out there and they shoot up there and grab it and shoot back out I think I get one around that curve over there. I know it's a big old piece of concrete that's broken. First one you got. Vertical jig, that joke. First one. That's a pretty little bass. About a pound and a half. About a pound and a half, you guys. Nothing big to brag about, but a great start. There you go. Got him on the Hegramite. There you go. There you go, YouTube. There you go, family. Pretty little old fish here. Pretty little old fish. Let's get them back in the water. Very healthy. Nice little release. All right, first one of the day. Let's see if we can get us some more. Now, fell some rocks then. Ooh, there we go. Yep, see what I'm saying? You get them little bluegills on here too, on this rattle trap. That's the one thing about it. You'll get bluegills as well. They'll, they'll tap it in some treble hooks to get them. No way around it. And you gotta watch yourself with these bluegill because they will get you. They will for sure be flopping around and bam, you're done. One hook in you. With this treble hook. There you go. There you go, lovely bluegill. All right, let's get back in there. Guys, yeah, I'm gonna switch over. I've been using Hegramite for about 30 minutes and got that one bass. So we're gonna switch over to this, to this two inch rider trap right here. We're gonna see if we can catch a thing with that. Rider traps like this, the small ones. You catch bluegill, bass, crappies, you catch them all. Especially the bluegill big enough to try to hit it. Got one. It's a bass right here you got. It's a nice bass too. It's a nice bass. Oh, that's a crappie. Oh, big old crappie. I mean a big one. Shoot, man, I wanna take some of these home. I didn't know I was gonna hit crappies. Cause I ain't ate none in a while. Let me go and get my bucket. Out of my truck. And uh, take me some of these home. It's about a 11 inch, 11 and a half inch crappie. Yeah. Okay. See, the rattle trap will catch anything. All right, I'm just leave that right here. 
Look at that big old nice white crappie you got. I ain't know I'm gonna get some crappies, guys. It's only five something. Bam. Yep. I got me a keeper crappie to go home and eat tonight. I'm gonna go and get my uh my bucket. I'll be right back. All right, let me walk back down this way, guys, and see if I can get me some more crappies with the rattle trap. I think I had a tap just then, you guys. Probably a bluegill. One, two, three, four. Mm, got another one. Oh, he got let go. Ooh. God, doggy, let go. You <clears throat> there we go. It's probably a crappie. Baby though. Oh baby crappie. Oh baby crappie. Them treble hooks. I gotta be careful with those. There you go. All right, let me uh, there we go. I like to grab the whole fish like that. That way it don't flop and get me, but a little bit of crappie, you guys. You go. I creek walking the banks all around this place. Gotta walk around. You can catch up close or you can catch a couple feet out. They'll hang around there, so we're gonna see what we can do. Mm, ooh, he let it go. God, doggy. That had to be a, that, a, that, that pulled hard, you guys. I don't know. Is that a bluegill? Yep. Yeah, I got your butt that time. He got off though. Little bluegill. He felt that hook. All right, so I just had caught a crappie, you guys. I thought I had it on camera, but I guess I So I don't caught like three or four of them little small crappies and just that one keeper. Pretty cool though to catch crappie though. You know, it's pretty cool to catch them out here because I don't really catch them out here until the spring and the fall. Especially along this concrete, I don't normally catch them. Water done cooled off some probably the last few days. I guarantee this water done cooled off. For them crappies to be up here and it's only like six something. They ain't up here at night. Oh yeah. This water done cooled off big time. Ooh, he pulled that joke, but he didn't keep it. That was a bluegill. Mm, got him. This is a nice blue gear right here, you guys. That is a nice, nice blue gear for right here. Very nice one. But I want crappies. I want crappies. If it were tough on me, oh yeah, I'd take it home, but them blue gear to hit them too. There's a decent blue gear right here. 
very very decent so yeah like i said i grabbed the body of it but something big just jumped on probably big old bass chasing these gills chasing these gills and crappies or a carp there you go there you go guys nice little bluegill Passing up and down the concrete. One, two, three, four, Mm. Little blue gear. Little blue gear. Calm down. So you gotta be real careful, you guys. They'll get you. There you go. It's a crappie. Some crappie, these little bitty crappies here. You guys, they're not keepers, but I'm having a good time. These are right at like nine inches. You know, they always be like that, don't they? Come down. There you go. So you want to grab it like, you want to grab it with these treble hooks. You want to hold that crappie good, man. Or you're gonna, you're gonna get a rude awakening. There you go, YouTube. There you go. Doing back in there gently, you guys. Not. I only got that one bass on the Hegramite. There we go. Another little crappie. Yep. Small crappies, you guys. Small, small crappies up close, but them big ones will come in at night though. They'll come right up close like, the, like I'm catching these. If you come out here, them big ones, oh yeah. They'll come right up there too. I promise you. And these little small ones will uh, run off. All right. All right, guys, I'm having a good time, guys, catching them crappies, man. They're not keepers, but I'm having a great time out here. So, scouting. The weather started to change, you guys cooling off water's cooling off bringing the fish in i'm catching like eight nine inch crappie so tonight you probably can get a few big ones out here if you stay out here at night but pretty soon they'll be fighting they'll be biting fight they'll be biting throughout the daytime right along this shoreline here mm -mm. oh bluegill let it go There we go. Uh, another, another crappie, you guys. Like I said, they're about nine inches, guys. Eight to nine inches, so they're not keepers, but I'm having a blast to see this, you know. All summer, I haven't caught no crappies out here at this spot. All summer, and to see this happening, it's only been, what, uh, two or three days of the cool front. It was still hot this weekend, remember? So today is Wednesday, so it's been three days of the cool front. And to see this happen like this, catching these crappies like this. Yeah. I'm excited about the next few weeks, you guys. Might start, we might not have to wait to uh to October or mid-October. We might start catching some in September. Unless that weather go back up. But if it stays in the 60s and 70s in the morning time, this water cool off. And it don't get to the hundreds, it can get it can get to the 90s. But this water will drop, it will cool off tremendously. So let's let's cast again. All right, 
Just cast down. This is the rattle trap. Just let it drop down. You know, as far as you can let it drop. And then just slowly reel it back to you. That's all you got to do. Ain't nothing fancy to it. Ooh, I just had a bite just then. Hit that. He hit that jug. Could have been a, uh, that could have been a bluegill. Felt like a crappie hit though, honestly. It was that little uh, pull like that, not that. That's the bluegill hit. A little bitty crappie, you guys. That was a little crappie. All right, let me get ready to head to the house here. Had a great day. All right, everyone, I'm gonna get ready to head home. I had enough uh, fish for about an hour and a half. I think I caught about 10 crappies and one keep and um caught that one bass so i had a great time so what i'm thinking is taking place is the cooler weather especially in these in these waters here that's uh that's not deep as lakes and stuff this, this water is like six feet deep it might be 10 feet somewhere but most of the places i went is like six feet deep this water can cool off faster so fish can start kind of migrating in that in that fall pattern um a lot of those were just undersized keepers very, right up right up under 10 and um i was catching them um literally like right along this concrete as i was walking around so i'm thinking like you know if it stays i'm trying even in the morning time if it stays in the 60s and 70s it's gonna cool off get in the 80s and 90s so you come out here in the minerals man early in the mornings or like right now and probably work work this bank and you probably catch some good crappies, especially through the night if you got lights. So, you guys, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and coming in. I appreciate every single one of you guys. This weekend, I think I'm going to probably try to get on some big blue heels, you guys. Uh, so, stay tuned for that video. Y'all have a great night. Peace.